What's up guys, Hong me in here for OG Fitness. And in this video, sorry, I'm gonna turn off, turn down the music a little bit for you guys. So I actually made a initial video before this one, but I was just planning to do one exercise, which is uh, with kettlebells, okay? Two 20 pound kettlebells. Uh, I'm, and the goal is to do 100 cleans, okay? So you squat down, you clean it, and you just keep it right here. I'll show you guys how I do it. But then what I started doing instead is that I was like, well, while I was resting, because believe it or not, it's actually very hard on the biceps. Maybe I'm just not used to it. But uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing this for my cardio is, uh, is simply because this is just a light cardio workout, right? Kind of like, think of it as moderate intensity uh, interval training, right? So I started running about a week ago and Felt great, loved it, right? But my left knee started acting up a little bit. So I'm feeling a little something there. Now, for, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, I'm a judo player. And, uh, you know, judo, it's pretty hard on the knees. So now my knees are kind of, uh, both of them are kind of messed up. They're partially torn ligaments and all that, you know? So the only way I could compensate, I did physio, went to see the doctor, MRIs and all that shit. And um, I have to get really, really strong and muscular when it comes to my legs, right? Um, and so I did and I have to maintain that strength and that size, right? It's not that they're huge, but you know, they're, they're pretty good on me. And that's the only way I could, uh, keep functioning properly and not have those, uh, injuries, you know, take over and then, uh, uh, this disable me to do what I want to do in life. Right? So I'm pretty much stuck training my whole life. Uh, so I started feeling a little something in my knee. I ran for about seven days. I started I was doing about five to 10 kilometers a day. And then I was start doing um, uh, sprint intervals, right? With my dog and all that. So, you know, I'm gonna back off. And that's why I do cardio now in the morning, right? Instead of weights. Cause what I wanna do is that, sorry about that guys. So what I wanna do is that uh, I like my cardio better for myself, okay? Everybody's slightly different, but me, when I do it at night, the problem is that it boosts my cortisol levels, right? And my adrenaline. So if that shit is too high, I have a hard time sleeping afterwards, man. I fall asleep like around two, three in the morning for, you know, the past couple of days. So I'm like, okay, that's not the good thing. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to switch it over. And everybody's different, right? Some people that can do their jog, it depends what time you do it, but I was doing it pretty late. So some people are okay, right? But what I'm going to do instead is that I'm going to do my cardio in the morning, right? And then in the evening, then I'm going to lift weights. That's what I'm going to do. I'm also a trainer guy, so I know what I'm doing, but everybody's different. So we have to experiment using some, uh, of course, some training principles, right? To, for all of this to make sense and to work. So all that to say that that's why I'm doing this little uh, cardio circuit. Uh, well, I wouldn't say hit, okay? It, I would say MIT. So that means moderate uh, intensity interval training, right? So instead of doing just the 100, uh, 100 cleans with the two kettlebells that I want to do, Okay, I noticed that when I did about 25, I was huffing and puffing, right? And I needed a break, but I didn't want to stop. So I started doing other stuff. So I'm doing um, uh, snake push-ups, Indian push-ups, Chinese push-ups, right? And of course, I'm doing band pulls and I'm doing uh, mountain climbers, right? All in between until I could get back to uh, doing my cleans, right? So I'm going to show you guys how I do it, right? And uh, yeah, check it out. And the, like, I don't count the, uh, the only thing I'm counting is the cleans. I just want to do a hundred cleans. Okay. That's it. And the rest of the stuff. Oh, I do the Indian push-ups, Okay. The, uh, the mountain climbers and the band pull aparts. I just do that. Like in between, I just do that while I'm waiting to recover to finish off my, uh, my hundred cleans. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys, man, the lighting is pretty good here. Cause what I did instead is that I turned the camera it's daytime right now in, uh, in Montreal. And so I turned the camera towards the, uh, the balcony window, right? The balcony patio door, you know, like it's, how do you say it? Uh, glass. So, and the sun's coming in and fuck it. I like it. All right. Show you guys what I'm doing. So I got 15 left to do. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, show you guys on the side. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So you see, keep my back really straight, contract the core, pull it up, clean it, have it resting right here on your forearms. Now you see, I'm already out of breath. So I'm talking at the same time. So then I'm actually finished my 100, but I'll show you guys what I mean by Chinese, Indian, or snaky push-ups. Put it in the comments below if you actually know what the hell this is called. Right? I'll show you guys from the side. And of course, in between that, not of course, but mountain climbers. Just to keep the heart rate up. And then from there, once I get tired of doing that, grab the band here and pull apart. So I either pull it like this, or I'll alternate, hold it like this, palms facing up and across. All right, show you how it looks from the side. I'm just kneeling down in a lunge position to so you guys can see. I do it standing up. So that's it for my little morning cardio routine. Uh, give it a shot. You'll see. That's that's of course if you do have kettlebells. Uh, you can do it with dumbbells also. A little bit more awkward, but it's doable. Or if you have any kind of um, hmm, what else could you use? Water bottles? No, not water bottles. Maybe jugs. Yeah, jugs are good. I'll show you guys. Right, so you fill it up the weight that you want it, right? If you have like a bigger jug, you know those big water uh, water jugs that you usually find in the offices, then you can fill those up to a certain extent. It'll be a little bit swingy though because the water, right, moves. But you could usually stack this up and well, you, it's gonna be hard for it to rest here. But you can keep it like this. Don't do it too heavy. It's more of a cardio thing than anything else. And you can go faster than what I did there, right? And in between, well, you do mountain climbers, band pulls if you have a band. Um, and was the other thing I did? Oh, the Chinese Indian push-ups. That's it for this video, guys. I just want to show you guys what I'm doing for my cardio uh, in the morning, you know, to rest up my knee. And I'll, uh, I'll do, I will do the same thing all the time because, you know, I get bored pretty easily. I don't know if you guys are like me. Some of you probably are. Some of you guys probably like to do the same thing. It's okay, man. You know, it doesn't matter as long as you get in your cardio. I like to do, I'm going to switch over to car doing cardio in the morning now. And then I'm going to do my weightlifting, not late at night, but in the evening, probably around, you know, six, five, six, seven, between five and seven, I'm going to get it done. Eat, then after that, taper off. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know underneath, what's your routine? What do you guys do that, that, uh, that you enjoy doing? What seems to work for you? Me, this is what I'm doing now. Like uh, I switch up my exercises, but I'm gonna stick with the cardio in the morning, right? And I'm gonna do the weight training at night. So that's it for now, guys. Have a good day and uh, like the video. If you liked it, subscribe, share it. And of course, uh, click on the notification bell, helps me grow the channel. And uh, the more I grow this, this, this channel, the more I'm gonna have time to, uh, you know, keep making videos and then show when this quarantine is over. I'm going to get back to work and do some fighting shit. Oh, maybe tomorrow next time what I'll do is because I got to keep my... Man, it's been like two weeks now, three weeks, no judo, right? So I'm going to do some uh, some cardio, but um, shadow judoing. So a lot of uh, um, 
Uchikumi, right? And of course, uh, yeah, a lot of Uchikumi, but you know, like with nobody in the air, or maybe with a broomstick, or with a what do you call it, a, uh, a band. Okay, so I'll show you guys that tomorrow, and that's it, guys. So have a good one. Peace.